my Las Vegas experience. Disclaimer, Las Vegas was not the destination we were trying to go to. We were trying to go to Utah, and there were no other airports nearby, so we had to go to Las Vegas to drive from there to Utah. Second disclaimer, this video is not for kids. This video contains content not suitable for children. If you have any children nearby, please either wear headphones or move to a place where there are no children nearby. Other disclaimer, also, not everyone in Las Vegas is a gambler, a smoker, a prostitute, or a strip dancer. Everything I claim to have seen in this entire experience was true, but the commentary was greatly exaggerated. Also, everything I listed to my memory was in chronological order. I'm going to Las Vegas. This should be good, right? Before I tell you about my experience, tell me, what is your first impression of Las Vegas? You might think of it as something like a place for gamblers and smokers with hookers and casinos on every corner. My first impression of Las Vegas, based on what I heard, is a place with casinos on every corner and full of gamblers and smokers. I wouldn't want to go there based on what I first heard about it. When we first took off in the plane, there was a snowstorm and the plane was shaking, which made me feel a big rush of adrenaline. When me and my family first arrived, it was 3 a.m. back at home. We had a 7 hour flight and we were all super tired. We all had a long day, so me and my family went to go and rent a car. My dad waited in line for what seemed like forever. So there should definitely be a lot of cars, right? We waited 45 minutes just to tell us that they were completely sold out. If they were completely sold out, then why the hell did the line take so long? Every other brand that we went to were also completely sold out as well. If they were completely sold out, then this must have been a pretty popular destination. So Las Vegas must have been a great place to go to, right? When we realized that they were sold out, we didn't know what to do. So eventually, we called an Uber. The guy was super nice, and he arrived in three minutes. When we got to the hotel, we had to order McDonald's for dinner, and it tasted great! The next day, my dad successfully managed to get a car. Me and my family were going to an Outback restaurant. As we were on the highway, we saw a truck pulling a porta potty and an ice cream freezer right next to each other. They were both touching each other. Mmm, chocolate ice cream, am I right? Who needs sanitation? Let's let all the germs and human feces get on the ice cream. As we reached the parking lot, we saw a crazy guy talking to himself, like a tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist. He had all his bags next to the sign where he was sitting. When we went into the restaurant, the food was great! It tasted amazing! It was really good quality. When me and my family drove through the Vegas Strip during the day, there were casinos everywhere, as many as McDonald's in New York. But I saw a lot of stuff, replicas of the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower from France, Coca-Cola stores, M&M stores, Hershey stores, and a lot more. It looked pretty good! We then walked through a casino mall. I saw a robot arm serving drinks! It looked really cool! And then, as we exited the casino mall, the first thing I see is a picture of a porno on the floor. Gross! And as I looked around, there were porno pictures scattered everywhere! That's gross! That's disgusting! That's creepy! I saw women boobies on every picture! I'm glad my little brothers didn't notice, or it would have messed them up for sure. As we were walking down, I saw a huge fountain, and there was a light show. As the light show was over, me and my family took a lot of pictures. As we were walking down the street, tons of people were smoking. In my face, everywhere, and I inhaled the fumes. No matter where I walked, there were people smoking annoyingly in my face. This one guy vaped five times in 30 seconds. Fun fact, did you know that vaping is equal to smoking 20 cigarettes at once? This information is blocked by the fake information by companies oh, who are the people who make these tobacco products who claim that it's safe when it's not. This man is basically destroying his lungs! We walked around and there were lots of casinos, and I mean lots. You could not go anywhere on this trip without seeing three casinos in sight, which is a bad thing because I've heard lots of stories about people's lives being swallowed whole by gambling. It just starts with, just one can't be that bad, and then the next thing they know, they become addicted and lose everything they own. When we met him and got ice cream, I noticed two women wearing antenna hats with human peepees on top. Las Vegas was disgusting! But the lights at night were beautiful, I will admit that. But it seemed that everyone was either a really heavy smoker, a gambler, a crazy hobo, a prostitute, a drug addict, a strip dancer, a pedophile, or a porno watcher. 
People even brought their three to five year old children in Las Vegas. Vegas isn't a place for children. It should be for 21 year olds at least. Not for some toddler who's going to become hopelessly flawed by everything he sees in Las Vegas. I even heard tires screeching some of the time while I was there, as if there were reckless drivers in Las Vegas. There were freaks and weirdos everywhere! It looked just like Florida! So if you're a masochist, I highly recommend going to Las Vegas. The next day we went for a really long drive, from the hotel to the Hoover Dam. It took a pretty long time to get there, but not nearly as long as it took to get to the house we rented. We drove to the Grand Canyon. It was amazing to see how big it was. When we started to go to the house that we rented, it was back the way we came from the Grand Canyon. It took us a total of 10 hours of driving to get to the house. On the way, we took this route with really bad snowstorms, with no other signal or other cars anywhere in sight. So if something happened to us, nobody would find us. Then as we went into Colorado City, my dad got pulled over for going too fast. He didn't see the speed limit sign. Welcome to Colorado City, am I right? Luckily, he just got a warning because the officer was nice and because he never got a speeding ticket before. As we arrived, we had a long day and we went to sleep. The next day, we went for a drive through a park. It wasn't raining or anything. We went through a tunnel and as soon as we got near the top, it started snowing. Some nice guy took a picture for us. He took an amazing picture. As we went back, we went and got crystals as souvenirs. The next day, we went into a hot tub while it was snowing. It was fun. But as we got out of the hot tub, it was really cold. The following day, we went to a park. We went through some caves and canyons. There was a tour guide who obviously gave us a tour. As we were descending down into the cave, the ladders were very steep and the handlebars were slippery, and my brother was vaguely scared and took a very long time to get down. We went to another park after that, and we traveled to this really steep cliff, and it had fences to keep people from falling. But me and my dad decided to go up another mountain right next to it that didn't have safety fences. After reaching the top, me and my dad both realized that we were out of shape, but it was an amazing view from the top. We took lots of photos. The trip back to the car took a while, and as me and my dad got back into the car, we were tired of walking. The next day, we went to Zion Park. When it got dark outside, we went to the hot tub at the house, and we turned off all the lights and went stargazing. I think I saw the Little Dipper. The day before we boarded the airplane, we were driving to the hotel, and we saw this huge motorcycle gang. There was 30 seconds of non-stop motorcycles. Not cars, just purely motorcycles doing wheelies. Shortly after that, we saw a self-driving leopard car, and it had a weird-looking paintwork. It looked like a leopard, but the spots were way smaller. After today, the day before we leave to go back home, we will have to wake up at 3.30 a.m. to get there. So on the day we left, we had a five hour flight. When the airplane landed, this guy in a black hoodie was being a dick and yelling swears because, quote, they took two minutes to get on the fucking plane and now it's getting, taking them an hour to get off the plane. And he was yelling at everyone saying, get off the fucking plane before I take off my mask and sneeze. That will get them off. What a fucking asshole. Does he not know what patience is? It's these kinds of people that the world would be a better place without. So overall, my trip was mostly great. It deserves a B+. Thank you.